I do a lot of dumb things every day. But the dumbest thing I did today was not bet the ranch on the Mets money line. Because as soon as we saw the lineup, and as soon as we saw Jones batting leadoff, and effing J.D. Davis batting cleanup, we should have known where this game was going. It was not going to be a Yankee win, I promise you that. When you saw that punt lineup, in, and why, why is it a punt lineup in the first game of the series? You just split against the Rays. You're trying to get a little momentum going, and you you got the your cross time rivals coming in here, and you punt, you punt the first game. This is the incompetence, the idiocy, the stupidity, the mind numbing dumbness. The brain deadness, whatever word you want to use, of Aaron Boone or whoever put together this stupid lineup. How can you punt on the first game of the series? Show a little bit of, actually, show a little bit of energy, show a little bit of creativity. Why are you running out this crap lineup? And you knew it was going to happen. You knew that Jones was going to go 0 for 3. Jones, was, Jones is so bad, he got pinch hit for Trent Grisham. And then Davis comes in there, and of course he goes 0 for 3. Of course he strikes out twice. Jones struck out twice too. He pinch hits for Ben Rice, who should have been in the lineup to begin with. You should have known where this game was going when you saw that one happen. And sure enough, exactly what happened, what we all thought would happen, happened. The most surprising thing of all was that, you know, mother effing Glaber Torres got a home run. The bizarre one, he was the one that actually, was the first one to actually show up on offense tonight. I didn't think anything of it, because I saw, okay, the Yankees take an early lead, okay. You know, cool, but I wasn't expecting much. Um, but Glaber hit the home run. That was great. Heel was good, at least for the first few innings. You know, got out of trouble in the third, set the side down in the first inning. He had five strikeouts through four. Um, also got to credit out the bottom of the fourth inning. Bases loaded after Verdugo lays down, or excuse me, it wasn't a Verdugo, but a sack bunt. So runners at third and second with one out. And you have Navarro's strikeout and Lemayu F9. And the Yankees don't score. Which is the epitome of this New York Yankee team. These missed opportunities. It seems like you get two or three missed opportunities every game. Then in the fifth inning, heel starts to crumble. Three consecutive singles. Loads up the bases. And then he hits Lindor and the game is tied. Mother effer. Uh, he did get out. He did avoid any damage as he uh, got J.D. Martinez to fly out. Um... Judge was walked three times tonight. I'm impressed. You know, they did. It's a, but this is how bad we were. I'm sorry. He was he was walked four times tonight. The that is what's frustrating. The Mets said we are not going to let Aaron Judge beat us, and they achieved. They they succeeded. It's fine. We're going to walk Judge every time because we got J D Davis right next uh, batting next. We'll just walk Judge every time. It's fine. We can strike out J D Davis, and they did. weren't worried about us for a second. It's that line of construction that would get any normal manager fired. But because Aaron Boone has, I don't know what on Brian Cashman, the, the depths of their relationship, only God knows. Not that there's anything wrong with that, but still, I can only, how does this man have this much of a grip on Brian Cashman or Hal Steinbrenner or whoever's running this organization? Yeah, J.D. Davis back clean up again. We've seen this over and over again. He can't play. He was out after five innings. Five innings, four hits, one and run. One walk, six strikeouts. You know, fine night, but, but you know, <laughs> that, that, that wasn't the reason why we lost that. He was not the reason why we lost tonight. Not even talking. It was this crappy offense and lineup construction. How about this? Entering the game, J.D. Davis had an OPS of 2. Aaron Judge was at 206. And they were hitting each other consecutively in a lineup. It's that kind of idiocy that should not be rewarded. And then in the top of the sixth, it really started to unravel with a double by Alonso and a home run for Jeff McNeil. And at this point, I, 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 already don't, I was barely paying attention to this game, but that really, um, that really grinded my gears there. Bottom of the sixth really frustrating because you have the single by Volpe. 
Back to back multi hit games for Volpe. So good to see him getting back in the right direction. Verdugo with a double into center. That made it 3 2. One out, runner on second. Austin Wells fly out. DJ ground out, inning over. We don't tie the game because, of course, we don't. Seventh inning. Two outs after they intentionally walk Judge so they can bring in um, Ben Rice. Rice flies out, dies at the wall. Volpe force out. Fail the score like we always do. And then after Luke Weaver actually picked the Yankees up in the top of the eighth. He was awesome in the top of the eighth, keeping the Yankees in the game. Yeah, it was, yeah, it was rough. Single by Alonzo, double by Ventos. Walk McNeil, bases loaded. But you know what? He struck out Torrance. He struck out Taylor. He got us out of it. He got us out of the mess he got us in. And what did we do? Goddamn nothing. Just like we always do. Strike out, ground out, walk, force out. No bleeping runs. It's a constant. Especially it's a constant if you put together this lineup. What a disgrace. What an absolute joke. That's what this team is right now. My friend texted me tonight, Tyler. Shout out to him if he's watching. He texted me, I hate this team. And I texted him back, this is the point of the season where all Yankee fans start to hate this team. It usually starts around the summer, around June, July. We all get to the point where you hate almost everyone on this team. That's me right now. I hate Jones. I hate Davis. I mostly hate Glaber, even though he's okay tonight. I'm starting to hate Verdugo, even though he got a hit tonight. I hate DJ. I hate Grisham. I, and I mostly I hate this stupid idiot manager who somehow lucked his way into the one of the most prestigious jobs in all of baseball because he hit one freaking home run in 2003 to send us to a series we didn't even win. And yet this man has a grip, a lock on this job for the rest of his life because he hit one damn home run 21 years ago. People who were watching his channel weren't even alive then. And because of that stupid home run, he gets to work, but he gets to manage this baseball team. To the, like, we didn't even have high-definition TVs. YouTube didn't exist in 2003. My younger sister wasn't alive. And yet, because of that home run, to send us to a series we didn't even win, the Yankees gave Aaron Boone this job for him to suck at. And be A, a puppet, B, incompetent, and C, give stupid, meaningless statements after t loss, after loss, after loss, how we're on the right track. We're getting close. Close to what? Close to what? We are close to shit. We are close to falling out of this playoff race. We are close to another season where we crumble in the second half. We're close to that. That's what we're close to, Boone. Go away. I know this wasn't the worst loss of the year, but for some reason this loss tonight irritated me so much because it was an obvious loss the second they put out that lineup. The second they put out this lineup, you knew where this game was going. This game was over from that moment, from the moment he put in the lineup. That's what's so frustrating. We could have actually done something tonight. We could have picked things up. Could have gotten back on a nice path. But we had to mail it in with this godforsaken lineup. So shame on either Boone or Hal, whoever put this lineup together. Shame on them for wasting this game, for punting the first game of this series, and making us and making a lot of us watch this game tonight and, and and stay in on a beautiful summer night so that we can watch this crap. Shame on them. Can't believe I'm this angry about a team that's 60 and 43. But you know what? When you played this bad as of late and you and you punt lineups like this, yes, I have I have a right to be mad. And I waste my night like this, yeah, I have a right to be mad. 
What an absolute abomination. And the Orioles lost tonight. No one wants to win this division. Nobody wants it. The Orioles don't. The Yankees don't. At this rate, the Red Sox are going to sneak out of here. And when the Red Sox are winning tonight. At this rate, the Red Sox are going to surprise everybody and win this division. You watch. Because of this incompetence. We, we just gave up tonight. We just punted tonight. Because of the incompetence of both of these teams, the Red Sox are going to win this division. And we're way more talented than the Red Sox. Sorry, we're way more talented than them. We should be. We should be better than them. We should be far ahead of them right now. But because this team can't hit and puts together stupid lineups, and among many other things, that's why we're struggling in the position we are right now. I hate this effing team. I'm so mad I had to watch this tonight. What crap? What an absolute joke! If I never see Aaron Boone's face again, it's too soon. Good night.